right, so the Miami Dolphins, we've caught up. How about that? We've actually caught up to the picks. The Dolphins are on the clock. They've got less than three minutes to go. Oh, look at look at what Mike McDaniel is rocking tonight. Very nice. Doug, Doug Three Johnson situation. would be proud, right? I, I don't, I, it just, yeah, it's we're like, talking about you, Mike. That's what we're doing right now. So it looks like Chris Greer's on the <laughs> phone with whoever they're picking and adding to Chop Robinson, who was their first overall selection last night. Mike thinks it's the combine again where the camera just found him all the time. Please. <laughs> He's just standing there. That's just, that's a, that, you know what that is? That's a night two suit. That's a night two look. Is it? Night one. He's working his way. Tomorrow, he, I don't know what he's going to so, Tomorrow's so, going to be like a Saturday afternoon deal. Rich, subtle flex. Very subtle. Just, just I don't here. Subtle. This I don't is who I am. Let me just say one thing is I just saw what he looked like there. There's not, the word subtle doesn't lead to mind. <laughs> whatsoever. So what do you think the Miami Do Dolphins are doing here as we're getting set to hear their pick in seconds? Well, we look at the interior of the offensive line being an area they could address. We'll see. Let's check it out. To announce the Miami Dolphins selection, please welcome seven-time Pro Bowler, Miami Dolphins honor roll member, NFL legend Richmond Webb. All right. That's it. That's it. How y'all doing, Detroit? Yeah. The Miami Dolphins, with the 55th pick, select Patrick Paul Tackle from the University of Houston. So we go back to back with really athletic guys who are still trying to chase their potential out there. Patrick Paul is enormous. When you look at his arm length. It's ridiculous. 36 and a quarter inch arms on 331 pounds with that six foot seven height. There were people that had him in this range in the 50s. There were other people that had him down more towards the fourth round. So again, this early portion of the draft, those top 40, 50 names, a lot of consensus. After that, now you're going to see grades all over the map. But this is someone with a lot of tools you can work with, mainly that size and length. Ian? Rich, this makes sense because Teron Armstead, the starting tackle for the Miami Dolphins, did in fact consider retirement earlier this offseason. I talked to a bunch, was kind of going back and forth, ended up doing a rework deal, is back for at least one more season, but there is a chance this is his final one. Dolphins want to make sure they are not cut short, uh, caught short on the offensive line.